Hi guys, it's Lisa and it's time for some sad chat. Hi everybody, how are you doing this evening? I am doing well. Um, I just wanted to come in and say hi and do my chat, Saturday night chat. I think I've been doing pretty good the last couple of weeks. I've actually been doing it, um, even though sometimes it's Sunday morning. But, you know, because um, I think we're two or three hours different from the East Coast. So, whereas it might be 10 o'clock right here now, it's already after midnight where some of you guys are, whatever. But, yeah. Anyway. Um, I haven't been doing too much this week. I, where'd I go? Of course, you know, I went to Goodwill. That, that's a every week thing. And there's a place here called the Clearance Center where all of the, the items from, okay, let's say like the ticket is blue for that Thursday. So everything is not sold and if i think i got this right everything is not sold in the goodwill blue tags that thursday goes to the clearance center so of course they have different colored tags in there from previous weeks but that's where all those tags go to die is the clearance center and they sell it by the pound i think a dollar something a pound but um last week i got like 30 35 36 items for like 13 dollars so it's a better deal there than it is going to Goodwill on a dollar day. But this place is like, it, it sells about a pound every day. So sometimes I like to go in there. Sometimes I go to the regular Dollar Tree. I mean the um, Goodwill, excuse me. I get Dollar Tree from. But um, yeah. Well, speaking of Dollar Tree, I got this. What is this? A boot shaper. It looks like this. I've not tried it yet. You have to blow it up. See, I should have known that. But it wasn't it wasn't too bad. And this is what it looks like blown up. Like a little boot. So I have my boot. We're gonna try this together. See how this works. So Okay. I don't know why they put that little foot on the end. A little foot part, a little bump right there, but let me see. Stand it up, it doesn't really stand up. Yeah, it works okay, they work. So, um, yeah, that was a dollar. So, I can use that. I only bought one pair because y'all already know how to, anyway. I also got, let me see what else I got some stuff. Guys, I decided to drink some wine trying to be a big girl. I'm not a wine drinker. I'm not a drinker, period. But every now and again, I want to look a sip or two. So I can drink this little bit right here. And I'll be drunk as a skunk. I cannot drink. But, um, and for the most part, I really don't like wine that well. But this is Barefoot Moscato. And I think if I'm going to drink any wine, it'll probably be this one. Because this one's not that bad. I can actually stomach that one. And it's also a red one. I kind of like that one too. Anyway. Guys. I know people like to say don't sleep on stuff. But I really don't like that saying. But I'm going to say it this time. Don't sleep on Goodwill for sunglasses. Because I got some sunglasses. Now. I clean them up pretty well. And go on by my business. I'm going to show you guys what I got. I got this pair. I think they're cute. I think they were like 69 cents. I like this part. So some of these are 69 cents. Some of these are 99 cents. But I always head straight back to the 
you know where they have all the little houseware stuff whatever they have a little basket or whatever of sunglasses and I always go back there I have these look at that cute these I didn't get these all at the same time but or at the same one that's cute but sometimes they have sunglasses at um, the clearance center but you might find one with an arm missing or something one of the lids is popped out or some shit but yeah I got these because people grabbing and snatching stuff and stuff flying up in the air and they scratching you and breaking glass and stuff it's crazy but um and these that's cute I saw some um, D&G glasses, Dolce & Gabbana glasses today, and I know they were knockoffs because they were only $5.99, but they were so cute, and I'm like, I can't. I, I mean, I just couldn't, because it's like, I get my sunglasses for $0.69. Is anybody trying to pay no $6 for some damn sunglasses? Anyway, and these. So, from now on, you know what? I used to see them in there, but I never really paid too much. Uh-oh. Okay, I never paid too much attention to them, but now, every time I go up in there, I'm looking in the little bins. But I have a little area over here that I hang them up on, guys. When I finally show you my room tour that, you know, I still hadn't gotten the mirror that done the way I wanted to do. I want to put some jewels around it because I spray painted it white and it's got some little spray paint at the top that I didn't take off yet anyway. When I get that done, I think I'm pretty much finished with the room. And then I'll show you and I'll show you what I, how I hang my sunglasses and everything. But, um, yeah, so. Guys, those of you who watch my videos already know how scary I can be. So I have my computer in here with me. And this little part right here, I don't even know what this is for. But, um, I guess this is like the... If you want to roll up the cord or something, I'm thinking. But anyway, this part slides down. So when I put the computer up, the cord slide up, you couldn't tell my ass that that wasn't some kind of snake or something. You should have seen me getting up out of this room running from a, a cord or whatever this is. A Velcro. <laughs> Sometimes I embarrass myself. I was laughing at myself, but it scared me. I was getting up out of here. Anyway. I went to, I think I told you guys I went to this, um, what was it? It was a fashion show. Maybe I did. And, um, it was some, yeah, I think I did tell you guys. They gave us a little goodie bag, whatever. But in the goodie bag, there was a, okay, where was it? Uh oh, stuff on. Um, I don't know where I put it. Hey there. Anyway, there was a. Um, where did I put it? I see it's on the floor side. Okay. This. A ring holder. Now, I got two bags. Me and my husband went, so he got a bag, and of course I got his. Now, this is. I don't know why I thought this was an actual ring holder, but it's a, a holder that's shaped like a ring. And this is what it does. Like, you can hold your cell phone, prop it up, whatever. I put mine like this sometimes. I'm holding it like this. But you, this is what it looks like. You can prop it up. And my phone is the edge, so I can see the time on the side. So I'll prop it up beside on my bedside table. And all I have to do is just look over, and I can see the time illuminated at the bottom. So this is it's actually pretty decent. So, I'm putting one of these in the giveaway for the month so somebody can use it. I need to send this box. This box is getting really, really full. Seriously, somebody's going to be happy, I think, when they get all this stuff. But I promise. See, when I make a promise, I keep my promises. But I promise that I'm going to get this out to somebody. Um, I'll try. I'll take it on either Monday or Tuesday. I'm going to get it out to somebody. So, guys, if you have not received a Try New Things from me... Put a comment in the comment section. Let me know that you haven't received one. 
and I will choose someone. If no one puts a comment in the comment section, then I'll send an email, uh, uh, inbox, whatever them things call, a message to you asking you if you would like one, you know. So, um, anyway, I, um, I have this now. I like to say those I like to say this those of you who watch my videos already know about my Eshure who's been rock, rocking with me for a while rocking with me they don't even sound like me those of you who's who's been watching my videos for a while rocking with me um I already know that I had this birth control um device called Eshure where they put the those of you who don't know that what that is they put the little coils kind of looks like a mascara on a little bit a little twisty things inside the fallopian tubes after a couple of months this the tissue forms over the tubes supposedly locking and blocking them so that the sperm can't get in to fertilize the eggs that's it in a nutshell anyway um it's been causing a lot of problems there are a lot of young women who are having total hysterectomies behind this not only that but it does not prevent pregnancies like it says it does when i had mine done it was 99.9 percent .9 accurate so it was still that one percent and they told me that if i gotten pregnant it was going to be a tool pregnancy outside the tube whatever whatever anyway tool so now i can't remember what the percentage rate is but it's, it's really it's a lot lower than what it used to be there are a lot of women getting pregnant with this device um, the latest tragedy that we have a group called as your problems on on Facebook so if you're interested you know you go there you have to be I guess they have to let you in the group but they'll let you in so um, you can learn more about it but we're trying to get that sure taken off the market for a good we had um, Aaron Brekovich Brakovich working with us. I don't know if she's still working with us or not, to be honest, but she was trying to help us. Anyway, I'm saying all that to say this. Oh, the latest tragedy. Um, girl was pregnant. The tube, the coil broke, dislodged somewhere in her body, went into the um, amniotic fluid bag, and of course the baby died. So that was one of the latest tragedies, which is horrible. First of all, you know, she ain't supposed to be pregnant in any way. And then that happens. So they do break. They break inside your body. Women had had have um, said that you know they go to they have all this pain whatever go to get X rays whatever find out that the the coil is gone. They can't find them in the the doctors can't find them on the X rays in the body. So they're somewhere floating around and they kind of sticky at the end. So you can poke into some some major organ that hasn't happened yet as far as I know. Like, but what if it? starts to migrate someplace and gets stuck in a heart or something anyway that's neither here nor there i'm going to a rally next saturday about it so this is what my shirt says it says eshore rally 2017 united against eshore and the back it says recall eshore we won't stop eshore problems and then it has like a website and I don't know why I thought this one had a uterus on it, but it doesn't. I thought I was getting the one with the little uterus on it. So that's my little shirt I'll be wearing next Saturday. My husband's going to go with me to the little mark. I have two more things, guys, and then we're going to get into this discussion for tonight. I bought these. I wanted to try them from E. Well, it was on... um. An advertisement on I think it was Facebook these they look stick on bras and then you lace up the front tighten tighten it up here it's supposed to give you some cleavage so I have not tried them yet it's really really sticky look at all that it's sticky sticky like sticky and um once I try them, I will let you know. I got a black one and I got a beige one. So, I think that's all that I had to show you guys. So, with that, let's get into this discussion. Okay. I went to 
um, I think it was Dollar General, Dollar General, yesterday. And, well, I had gone a couple of weeks ago and I found these sheer curtains. I'm um, redecorating my house. So I'm starting on the living room downstairs. I was starting in the bedroom, but I put that aside and went downstairs. So I took the curtains that I bought for the bedroom down to the, the den. And they look cute in the den. So I'm starting with the den. Then I'm doing the dining room area and then the kitchen and then the living room. And then I'm coming upstairs. We have people coming next month. So I want to make sure I get that part straight. Cause they don't have no business coming up here so yeah anyway that's neither here nor there but i saw these panel these sheer panels in in dollar general that i thought i might use for my living room and they like this just kind of like a cream color so i don't know why they share they sell one panel like price one panel at a time like this panel was five dollars which was not bad anyway a couple weeks ago, I saw them in the store and I bought, you know, two of them just to see what they look like. Once I got them up, I liked the way they looked. So I went back today, yesterday, and I got two, one, two, three, four panels, four more. So that should have been like $20, right? Anyway, I wasn't really paying attention what I what the guy was doing when he rang them up, whatever. So, you know, I went ahead and gave my swipe, my card, whatever. I didn't even pay attention to the price. I got home and I don't even know why I was looking at the receipt. I guess, you know, I like to do little surveys on it. So I was just looking at that. And I noticed that the price was $8 and something. And I'm like, wait a minute. So I opened my bag, you know, looked in the bag and I counted four. So I'm like, why is it eight? So I was thinking... Either he gave me a hookup or he didn't charge me for the other two. Now, I don't understand. I can't see how he could have missed this because this is not small. And he put them in the bag. So, all right. My dilemma kind of is I'm just an, I'm an honest person. I am. I would not be able to sleep if I thought for a second that I paid for something I didn't pay for something and I didn't say anything now had it been if I was in the store at that time at that moment and he said if and I if I noticed it I would say well you didn't get that other two and he said something like okay don't worry about it that's different but because I wasn't paying attention and I didn't get to say that, I don't know if he gave these to me or if he missed, you know, he just didn't see them. He overlooked them. So I'm thinking that I would take them back and and pay for the other two. That's just me. I asked a friend of mine or not really a friend. So she, she said, forget about it. Like, that's your blessing. I really don't see if it's a blessing if it's dishonest how can that be a blessing I, I don't know guys that's pretty much it so you know what tell me what you think about that do you think that maybe he did give it to me or he missed you know he overlooked it and a friend did point out to me she's like you know you're going to start a business now she always says i'm starting a business i ain't starting no damn business but she thinks so she says would you like it if someone did that to your business? You know, if you some you somebody gave somebody something or miss overlooked it and you missed out on that money, which makes sense to me what she said, but I was in Goodwill one time and I had this dress and I wanted to dress as like ten dollars and I normally don't spend that much on one item up in there, but I really, really wanted my husband was gonna buy it for me. So we went to the register and the girl rang it up as like a dollar or something and I'm like this I think this is ten dollars. She said, "What about it?" And I said, "What do you?" She says, "What about it?" So that let me know that she was giving it to me for a dollar. Now I thought, like, okay, whatever, you know, you okay? I let you know you want to give it to me. To me, that's different. That was different. But this, I don't think that I'd be able to to rest until I go back to the store and and try to work it out. So. Guys, let me know what you think about that. Put your comments, please, down below. And also, like I said, if you want to be a part of the Try New Things 
let me know that too. For those of you who have no earthly idea what I'm talking about, every month supposedly, I haven't done it in the last couple of months, I um I give away some of the items. Well, basically the items that I try the the items that I'm giving away are items that I've actually tried. So yeah, that's what I do. I choose one of you and I just send you the products that I try for the month. Now, this is the container. Stuff falling. And I have some more in here. So all of this stuff right here will be going to the next person that I choose for the try new things for about four months now. So the month of whatever, up until April. So yeah. But just let me know down below if you're interested in receiving try new things. You don't have to do anything except be subscribed to this channel. That's it. You don't have to jump through hoops and all that stuff. Just to, you know, I just like to share. I like to give back because I appreciate you guys. Um, Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing and all that stuff. So anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of here because it's 20 minutes. And you know I do not do long videos like this normally. So it is what it is. So guys, thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be good. Try to be good. But if you can't be good, be good at it. Tui.